Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on a Lenovo Yoga laptop. So if you turn it around, take a look at the back of your computer. It says Lenovo Yoga 720-12IKB. This is a 360 fold. As you can see, the hinge allows you to fold the entire screen from front all the way to the back. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing first, I need to have a Phillips screwdriver. So here comes my Phillips screwdriver. I'll be removing the back plate. So if your screen is pixelated, cracked screen, if you know that you have bumped something into the screen and you get this soldered color, funny color, fuzzy screen, no display, then more likely you need a screen replacement. Um, another way to test it out is if you can plug in your computer to like an uh, USB-C to HDMI and output it to a display. And if you can see the HDMI through your computer screen, like an external monitor or on the TV, then more likely that tells you um, you have a bad LCD screen. All right, the next step is I'm trying to pry open that back cover here. I'm trying to stick it underneath. See if I can find the tiny little opening. It looks like it's pretty sealed tight over here. Okay. Alright, once you have popped open that back cover, the next step is to go ahead and start removing some of the screws as well as the, uh, the cable and remove the entire hinge. Phillips screwdriver. Once you have removed the three screws, one, two, and three, then you can somewhat flip the hinge open a li slightly little. Do the same on the other side. One, two, and three screws. Slightly lift this one up. Disconnect the what do you call that, the uh, LCD cables, cable here. So you need to flip open that little clipper, that is the connector, flip that up, a 90 degree angle, and you can slide that cable away from your body to remove it. Here comes the Wi-Fi antenna. Black is on your left, white is on your right. Lift up the antenna cable, if it's just straight up, At this point here, you want to slightly tilt the screen at 90 degree angle or slightly less than that and slide out the computer. Once you have slide out the computer, as you can see, the entire full screen will just come right off. Okay, so here I have the regular silver. I do not have the same um, color of the screen. I'll be replacing a used one and this one is a darker gray, which is okay as long as you uh, okay with the color so let's put the screen on the side what I'm going to do is all right make sure you have the hinge open at somewhat 45 degree angle and you want to slide the computer back in it so slide it in push it all the way in and gently close it down together with the hinge 
not all the way but enough for you to make sure that double checking the cable the Wi-Fi is above the laptop reconnect them back again so the black one goes to the left the white one goes to the right reconnect the Wi-Fi cable they're just like Lego make sure that the connector is is um, the circle is sitting on top of each other and you slightly gently press it down you don't have to force it really hard and try not to do that you just have to gently press it down all right now press the hinge all the way down secure that make sure the connector is open we're going to slide the LCD cable back in slide it in and close it down hike the cable underneath tuck it in now the next is to push the hinge back in okay we are going to secure the LCD screen the hinge Alright, once you have done the process, we just have to insert the back cover, the screen back together. The back cover, slide it in slightly and press it down. Okay, and four screws. That is pretty much it. It's very straightforward, simple. Um, I recommend you to replace the full assembly screen. The one that I have in here right now is what we call the full assembly, meaning that you don't have to replace the glass or anything because it's the touch screen. So there's a digitizer. Sometimes you may not install correctly. Then the computer will start like a ghost touching because this is a touch screen. If you do not have the uh, touch screen digitizer installed correctly, then you can sense that the screen is touching on its own. Alright, so I prefer to install the full assembly, even if a used screen, that is okay. Um, it makes the repair a lot easier. Alright, if you're not sure where to buy the tools and the screen, check out in the link down description below. It will direct you to either Amazon or eBay, where you can find the screen replacement directly. Thanks for, thanks for watching, I wish you uh, success in your repair. Bye now.